Hey friends, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With Pom Poms. I am Shantae, the mother of the three gorgeous Pom Pom sisters. In this video, this hair tutorial, we have the lovely Lonnie, our middle child, and she is going to show you her three cornrow styles that we style for her hair for the school week. And I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve these super easy and fast hairstyles. Of course, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, bestie, hey, mama, hey, friend. Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So Kaylani's hair has already been washed. I went probably a day or two giving her hair a break from all of the manipulation and the styling. And she just walked around with maybe two braids in her hair. So her hair was already divided in half starting from the forehead and all the way down to the nape of her neck so all I had to do is just clean up the part real quick using some gel and now I'm going in with some water to help detangle and we're going to re-moisturize her hair going in with the textured ID styling cream I love the entire texture ID line there hasn't been a product there that I dislike so yeah I'm an advocate for texture ID so I'm going to go ahead and detangling using my tangle teaser which can be purchased through our Amazon storefront all of the hair products and hair accessories that we feature here on our channel can be purchased through our Amazon storefront so going in with the shine effects gel I'm just at gelling down her edges because we're going to do two uh, corn rolls for her first look and I love a clean and sleek corn roll okay now here is uh, here is the challenge Lonnie has type 2 wavy hair which she doesn't have a whole lot of texture as you can see and that can make it a little difficult with gripping. I'm a I'm an intermediate braider. I, I don't think I'm a, I'm a pro. I'm a professional. I, I've never gone to school. I am self-taught, okay? But I'm self-taught on 4C hair, type 4 hair. I, I might can even do the curly. But when it comes to this, uh, this wavy hair, whew, I be struggling. I really be struggling. It tangles so easily. And I don't know if it's just my method of braiding her hair or what or the products that I'm using I have yet to figure that out yet but that's okay because practice makes for better right I'm not gonna say perfect because we're never perfect but practice makes for better so I'm, I'm gonna try to achieve that that is my goal with Lonnie's hair is to be able to grip her hair um, and I've had other people to braid her hair and they have no issues with braiding her hair so again i think it just might it just might be my skills ain't there yet it might just be and that's okay but we are all here to learn so i'm gonna tie it off with a rubber band and then i went over that rubber band with a hair tie and then i'm going to i was going to bubble the rest of her hair down but i decided to change it up because we do a lot of bubble braids here on this channel so i decided to open it up and flip it inside out so it kind of made this cute little twist kind of look i don't know what that's called or what it is but i see it a lot on my Instagram page and so I decided to try it online and you know it is what it is so uh, once I get down to the end I went ahead and braided that all up I will say with this banding method it helped with locking in the moisture for her hair so when we went in for her second hairstyle of the week her hair was still moisturized I didn't even have to add a whole lot of product so I decided to keep out these sideburns because y'all know I suck at edges I don't know how to lay no edges but I can do a curly sideburn honey okay so I added just a little bit of the texture styling cream and then I'm gonna go in with the BTL hair oil this stuff like I don't know what it is with that BTL line but they know how to make some products smell good it smells like mangoes and tropical rainforest in that bottle like oh delicious so moving on to the second hairstyle for this one I'm still keeping that hair divided in half from the forehead to the nape of the neck and then I'm going to divide that into quarters so we're gonna have the half turn into quarters and we're gonna braid up that back piece right there so everything's gonna uh, potentially just go up into an updo or a bun or a ponytail for this style I went with a bun so I'm braiding that on down and again here I am struggling okay I think I know what why it was more difficult on the second hairstyle than it was on the first. The first hairstyle, her hair was still kind of clean. There wasn't no product buildup. On the second hairstyle, she still had, you know, 
some product in it and I think it was making her hair a little bit stiff um, so I, I think that was my issue here but nonetheless I made it work and we're gonna pull it all up into this ponytail and I'm gonna tie that down with a ponytail holder and I was debating the letting her curls hang out and I decided on doing a bantu knot so you just twist it up and wrap it around try not to do this too tight it can cause a lot of you know strain on the hair if you do it way too tight I added some snap clips and I also went back and did some pom-pom ponytail holders because I love hair accessories and the more the merrier all right so now we're gonna move on to the very last style last but not least and I'm snacking you know mama was hungry so i went ahead and washed her hair because i did not see me being able to braid her hair on for another style with those products already in her hair so she is freshly washed once again and i am going to uh, divide her hair from ear to ear going right over the crown of her head because i want to create these like two braids in the front and then let her curls kind of hang out and have fun in the back right so i'm going in with the auntie jackie's not having it it's a detangler cream very soft on her hair and it does help with the detangling process so um i realized that with that detangling cream it gave her hair a lot of slip and I was struggling even more. <laughs> I was struggling even more to get those braids in. So I redid those probably three, four times off camera. You know, I'm going to try to keep it short here. So I braided it on down and, and I secured that with a rubber band on the end. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Add our not having it cream and detangle and braid up. Now let's get into the back of the head, which is the fun part. Party in the back business in the front so i wanted her curls to be out and i'm still learning with kehlani's curls because she she's not as curly as me and kalia um but she does have gorgeous a gorgeous curl pattern so i love for her to wear it out more it's just her hair tangles so easily and it can mat so easily that um it requires me to change her nighttime routine when i do allow her hair to be out and free so i'm going in again with another auntie jackie's product this is the baby curls and her hair is still soaking wet so i lather that product on there and i take this board bristle brush and kind of smooth the product in there and kind of just twirl her hair around my fingers to create this nice little spiral and I'm gonna do that throughout the entire head take small sections smooth it through with the board bristle brush and then uh, just twirl it around my fingers once I do the entire head I'm then going to do this squishing method it's a method that I found on TikTok that a lot of like wavy girls um, or girls who have Kalia, Kehlani's texture use a lot. And all they do is just gather the hair up. It's kind of like scrunching, but you're like squishing the product into the hair. So you should hear literally the water in the product kind of squishing in your hand. And this is going to help with that product distribution as well as bringing out those curls. I diffuse for maybe 10, 15 minutes for the most part. I allow her hair to air dry. And then once it's dry, I'm going to then go in with the e-blast oil another auntie jackie's product and this is just going to kind of break the cast on her hair because was, there was a lot of products that i put in i was very heavy with that baby curls um product so i just want to kind of like soften it up and it did really good it added shine and it gave her this nice soft definition to her curls and as you see those little spirals right so adorable i just wish i was able to do this with her hair more often even with kalia's hair i would love for my girls to wear their hair free and out but it, it it just takes a lot of maintaining when their hair is like that so that'll complete the hair tutorial for kehlani's weekly hairstyles thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair tutorial do not forget to share this video to all your social media platforms we are on the way to 10,000 subscribers that is our goal for 2022 and we are hoping to make it there sooner than later we greatly appreciate having y'all be blessed and be safe